Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk animated shows and movies here, especially Miraculous Ladybug and The Owl House. Find everything about us at OverlyAnimated.com. I'm your host, Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hey, y'all. And April Collins. Hi there. We're back to talk more Miraculous Ladybug Season 5, this podcast on Episodes 4 to 6, Jubilation, Illusion, and Determination. Uh, our second Miraculous Ladybug Season 5 podcast. Check out our podcast on the first three episodes where we broke everything down from the uh, premiere episodes of Season 5 of Miraculous Ladybug at OverlyAnimated.com. Search for Overly Animated Miraculous Ladybug wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss our future podcasts that we're doing, you know, every so often. Uh, we're, we have three again here. Not guaranteed we do three at a time. Just uh, whatever kind of makes sense as we're going along here. Um, so, yep, we're going to be talking once again, jubilation, illusion, and determination. Uh, we are going by the Disney US English dub releases, spoilers only up to the episodes that we are covering in this podcast, spoilers only up, up, up to determination, episode six. Please, absolutely no spoilers past where the US, D- Disney US dub is at any, anywhere in the comments or anywhere you would interact with the podcast, uh, Please do not uh, any any sort of spoilers, as I know that there people have seen episodes past this. We are not spoiled past determinations. That is the context of this podcast. We have not seen past episode six. We haven't seen the next three, which I know some people have seen. But we are just watching in order, hopefully, if the Disney US continues uh, to co- uh, cooperate with that. But here we go. Spoilers once again up until episode six uh, for these episodes. Delaney. Uh, is might be coming in hot here. What were you? What are your feelings on these episodes? I hate this show so much. Um, I felt like Jubilation and Illusion were just like kind of like run of the mill. Like I hate the show, but then Determination really just just took it over the edge of just wow. I hate the show. Can you elaborate um, on on I hate the show? I hate the show. So like I don't know if we've discussed it or not. I mean, it's the clear move is to be like, oh, so. Adrian's in love with Ladybug and Marinette's in love with Adrian. And then now, and then now, Adrian's in love with Marinette, but Marinette's in love with Cat Noir. And I'm like, I don't have time for this, guys. Like, are we going to have to do this? Like, going to do a whole other season where we're finally, like, matching up? Or, like, I don't I hate the show. It's exhausting. Um, I had to pause this episode. Like, I had to pause Determination, like, every two minutes because I was, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure the episode <laughs> gave me, like, a hernia. Like, it was just, like, there's a lot. Like, um, I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I'm getting too old. Like, I can't handle it anymore. Um, I'm also, like, I'm kind of shocked that we've kept it so long that they still don't know what's going on, like, with the Miraculouses. Like, they're like, what? We don't know. And then apparently Hawk uh, Monarch was like, no, I got you. That fake lightning, fake, totally fake. But now you think you saw something. Like, what? How did you fake lightning? Yeah. Anyway, I guess um, that's why I hate the show, because. Um, <laughs> because of fake lightning. <laughs> because of fake lightning. No, uh, this. Ooh, Adrian being like, yeah, I'm in love with Marinette. Oh, my God. Just. And it got real serious. They took they they brought out the rain. You know when it starts raining, it's like a big plot moment, guys. Like this is a big deal. Was it raining in the last scene? Was that it? Yeah. Yes, it was raining and she was crying, looking at a poster of Cat Noir, and I wanted to die. Okay. <laughs> it's a catastrophe. Yeah, that was the other part. That was also I was like, really? <sighs> so, so I always have like the subtitles at first. So I what so the problem with is like I wasn't ready. For her to say it like that, I was so mad. Yeah, that that uh, extra pain for Delaney uh, with the pun at the end. How sad could she have been if she got the the pun? I, I, yeah, that's the other thing. I'm like, I don't know. Is she like mourning the loss of Adrian now? <laughs> no, like, okay, we'll discuss. Yeah. Uh, April, what did you think? Oh, look, I've told you all before, and I'm going to say this again. I'm dead. I can't. <laughs> I'm old. (laughs) I'm too something. I don't know what it is, but these three episodes just just killed me. I mean, they really did. And there's so much going on, and I have so many questions. And I, I, I like. I thought I was here for the teenage drama, but maybe I'm not anymore. (laughs) (laughs) We've, like, reached a threshold. (laughs) I just don't, I don't know. 
I I don't know. I hope I feel better at the end of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Prayers. <laughs> but like I'm frustrated and I'm I'm losing my mind over here. Like Thomas, what this are is you a, doing This is about to determination. Us? The end. The end of it. it, it uh, illusion and determination because they're both just crazy. Well, and like parts of Jubilation, I was like, okay, this makes sense, but also, I don't know. I mean, it was a nice way to set up so that we know what's going on while everyone else just doesn't figure it out. <laughs> I want to go into the TV and like shake Marinette. Okay, so this is Marinette's fault. It's everyone. You know what? It's Thomas's fault. It's Jeremy's <laughs> fault. It's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Wow, this Still is quick fault. acceptance on the. <laughs> Not that. Like, I need to blame somebody. Like specifically for determination, I want to go in and shake Marinette just a little bit. Just. I want to shake everyone. Also, like... where's Alia? Alia, can you slap her or something? Like, come on. I think. You know what? That makes sense that Alia was not there in Determination. This would have, been, this would have gone a lot differently if Alia was there. It really would have. They would have got locked in the room like a lot faster. Also, Nino drives me crazy. I... <laughs> He's the worst. <laughs> I didn't know there were so many sauces. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, we'll break down all the sauces. Yep. Okay. Look, uh, we're, we have some work to do on this podcast, apparently. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it high level here. I thought these were three very fun episodes. Um, fun is a word. Yeah, I, 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 well, look, I had a lot of fun with Jubilation. A ton I mean, we of- had... We got darker owl. Like I mean, yes, that was, nothing's it's better worth than it. that. I had lo- a lot of fun with Jubilation. I had so much fun with Illusion, which is one of my favorite episodes. Um, Determination. Uh, I, I kind of had a similar uh, reaction to you guys. I guess since you guys uh, had st- such a strong reaction to this, I'll have to try to uh, mediate here <laughs> and uh, suppress. <laughs> any, any no, I think this will be a mediate. What <laughs> this is the response the show wants to elicit. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I think I think I rewatched Determination and it was very fun. Uh, there's it's it's, uh, you know, I, the ending. We'll talk about it. I think that there's a lot of fun directions that uh, the show can go with. with I think Kagami is going to show up at Marinette's house and beat her with a stick. I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> like Kagami's going to be like, Are, really? Like she's just going to show up. But she's going to be like, nope, we're not playing this game. How'd you know Luke is just gonna show up episode? at Adrian's house and sing him a song about feelings. They should. They, we should get the episode again. Yeah, that's. A it's good gonna problem. be. It's gonna be like an episode of Barney in here. Like, <laughs> let's let's talk about our feelings, guys. <laughs> yeah. We have a really I, awkward dad chat, or we're like, Dad, I have a crush on this girl in my class. Oh, now that now that's nice, Dad. Yeah, maybe Adrian can talk about uh, his feelings oh, with, nice with him. Dad. That's a good and call. Then it's like the, and then it's like the most awkward conversation we've ever had to watch ever. <laughs> oh, this is this is watching this is good. Gabriel give uh, relationship advice, and then he probably does something creepy like background checks Marinette or something like, or he's like, "Let's have her over for dinner," and then we all have strokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's actually, that's a very good episode. Adrian, uh, Adrian Gabriel has no, Marinette in what, the family. They have a whole there. family. What, yeah. What would be even better is just that Adrian just says like, oh, there's a girl in my class that I really like. And Gabriel's like, which girl is it? And then he invites all of the girls over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the bachelor. It's like the bachelor. Yes. <laughs> He's okay, like, is it Chloe? Gonna... And he's like, oh my God, no. <laughs> Okay, this is this is we 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 have to speculate a lot about Nice Dad now. Um, oh. I, I think that's a highlight. Anyway, the jubilation. Go quickly before we go back. So there's a ground the. Okay. The, yes. The let's talk about Jubilation. Shit. No, Jubilation's very fun with the dream. I I really really loved that. I think everything is so clean. It's really fun. Everything with the ring mechanics is good. That's a really good episode. Illusion. I really love this. I love uh, Nino when they go uh, like off the handle with Nino, like they did in Rocketeer. I think <laughs> no. this is like a sequel to Rocketeer. I really love like uh, oh I forgot comedy how good Rocketeer Nino. was. Yeah, and I I and that's one of my favorite episodes. This is up there for me. This is probably my favorite episode of the season so far. I love all the comrade stuff. Um, I think, uh, the, and, oh, and it's like very like a uh, quiet, like slice of life with the school, uh, for half of the episode there. I really enjoyed all that stuff. We'll go over all they that. They were aggressively 14 in this episode. I must yes. say. Yes. That's good. 
Uh, and determination is very fun, and so we got a lot of Luca and Kagami. That that's good. Uh, there's a lot of like awkward Marinette, Marinette stuttering and stuff. So I think if like initially I didn't uh, respond positively to uh, season five, and Mar- we're still having a whole episode of Marinette uh, <laughs> freaking out. But once you get past that, if it's 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 very good, and uh, I think it's fun where we end it. We'll talk about it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's like six for six really good episodes of season five so far. So there you go. O- overall. Okay. Oh yeah. No, this season's very solid. Like Ladybug's just yeah. solid all the time. Let- I also think it's very appropriate that we're doing like these three episodes sort of fit together in my mind, or at least that's the feeling that I got, especially like jubilation. And then we like, we have illusion where we're just like absolutely teenagers. And then we go into determination and that kind of like, I don't know. It feels like a continuation of jubilation almost in terms of Marinette's feelings for Cat Noir. Yeah, in terms of the feelings, let's let's talk about our, our main topic, the love square. <gasps> um I, I do think these are this is a good group of episodes because in Jubilation we uh <laughs> we reaffirm uh Lady Noir and that uh you know Marinette has feelings for a cat now. In illusion there's some uh Adrian but- feelings for Marinette stuff. And uh, in Determination, we end up at the point where it feels like we've been building for a while towards this, where it kind of confirmed and acknowledged by them, Adrian is in love with Marinette, and Marinette is in love with, you know, or Ladybug is in love with uh, Cat Noir. So uh, I, I like it's 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 it feels like a good culmination of these three episodes. I also do think like season four into season five, right? I think we've we've been discussing that the show has been moving in this direction um yes so i think in that regard determination is kind of a, a climax of these these plot lines for the show and uh and you know and the, of course of course those are like the opposite ends of the the love square right the, the pre-existing crushes in the beginning of the show now we've pointing in the opposite direction and so then it's pretty interesting to think about what's next but so tired yeah other than yeah. uh w- yeah so delaney that's that was your main reaction was kind of exasperation that um instead of them getting together we're kind of pointing we're going in the opposite way now yeah like do we have to like go like the whole clock around this like how like how long is this gonna go on that's apparently what we're doing <laughs> like oh my god but also okay i get so mad because luca knows their identities yeah that's the other and thing. it luca, makes me you. so angry <laughs> because like it would literally solve all of our problems if Luca was just like, I know who you guys are. Here is so-and-so. Here is so-and-so. End of discussion. Well, and it's another, it's like, are we, and again, it's also one of those, like, I, st- I am more certain now that we cannot have them dating without the identity reveal. It uh, almost feels like this. we have to have the identity reveal in order for them to start dating. Right, okay. I, I, I'm on the same page on this. This is one of my main conclusions. So I think I had a little bit of a negative reaction to Determination because I've uh, really wanted to have an arc of Marin and Adrian dating on the show while you can do that without their identities being revealed. Um, and it feels like the door is now officially shut on that. Um just kind of a sad moment yeah. for me in, in Ladybug podcasting. Um, be, in, in, but it's a sad moment for us all. But until Marinette goes to therapy and works out the whole fact that <laughs> no, there, come on, there's no her therapy. crush on Adrian is what lost her the miraculous is. Which it, which it it didn't which it's not. I don't think. Um, I mean, I think that. I think that it's easier for her, I and mean, we can talk she, about she, that. She she continues to be very hard on herself about it. Yes, and I think that it's easier to blame her, herself. That the boy she's in love with has an evil cousin. Yeah, who okay. just it's not your fault you're in a soap opera, Marinette. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. Yeah. It's not your fault. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Cartoon, it's not your fault. Like, yeah, I agree. So back, back to the point about the, the identity reveal. So last podcast I said, I'm confident everything will happen this season, all the big stuff, except for maybe the identity reveals. Well, actually, now I'm like pretty confident in the identity reveals happening this season because if we're going to pay off the romance stuff and have them start dating i agree and they kind of need to have the identity reveal first now because we're going in the direction of 
Um, it all comes together at once. Now that they're crushing on the, the opposite ends of their initial crush, it needs to all kind of come together. And then they just kind of see the they, they get, know who each other are. They see the whole and then they they see that the the person they're in love with is the same as as the person as before. And I think that does need to happen this season just because, I mean, there's these episodes are so romance fo- uh, heavy focused, right? So like, what are you going to do? Not pay off this giant, these giant romance arcs we've been on for season four and season five, obviously the whole show as well. But um, like, I'm pretty confident romance stuff will culminate this season. Uh, so I think now that the identity reveal needs to happen first, I guess that's happening soon. That's kind of my takeaway here. It's going to have to. Well, also, I also think like where we are with modern also necessi- like necessitates them like revealing their identities because like what else would like I feel like we're getting really close to Marinette like talking to Cat Noir more, maybe even telling Adrian things because like yeah, that's they're gonna have to do something to defeat Monarch. Like they're right now we're at nowhere. With getting Miraculous's back. That's a good, that's an well, interesting point. They're kind of st- a more formidable force from Monarch than ever. Maybe they need to change things up from how they've been doing it. Yeah, but I don't, the, the whole thing, and this is going off the topic of their relationships, but I just don't know what it is that we can change up in order for them to get the upper hand on the whole, like, retrieving the Miraculous's back. Yeah, because we're gonna have to knock him out and just take the rings off his fingers. But like, <laughs> the the rings aren't necessarily the miraculouses, which is yeah. Well, well, they need to they need to realize that the alliance rings are connected, and then they can just start taking away taking alliance rings off of people, and then problem solved. Or um, like, uh, or they like get um. Max, Max has to like Max hack, ha- hack the yeah that'd be good yeah. Hack but for, the first, rings. they the, the next step is they need to determine the alliance rings. Anyway, yeah, well we can we can talk about that more. But um, and then maybe they figure out it's well first they're gonna be like oh my god Kagami's mom is Hawk Moth and then they're gonna be like JK and then they're gonna be like oh it's <laughs> that'd be, uh, yeah, that, that's true they might they, they, they might have a fake reveal with that that'd be fun too. It's a lot of a lot of fun scenarios so far. Um, uh, but Sarah really liked this episode, by the way. And her take on the the end of the determination is it's she thinks it's more satisfying for them to love both sides of each other before the the big reveal. Like it's it's to have uh-huh. all of the. I mean, she's right, but also I want to die. I think that's yeah, and I think it's what they're going for, and I think it's like hopefully something that we're gonna pay off soon, right? So maybe that makes the dread lessen if it's gonna. This is temporary. I mean, I guess that like makes sense because. You would want someone to love both sides of you if you have a secret identity that is. And I feel like at some point we've also like hinted that like part of like Marinette's thing with like not liking Cat Noir besides the fact of revealing their identities is the fact that she's like, yeah, but what if he only likes like Ladybug but not Marinette? I feel like we've said something along those lines at some point. So or maybe it was Adrian who was like, oh, I want Ladybug to like Cat Noir and myself so yeah and i think i think we get into some of this this thematics with uh marinette and and luca talking about stuff i could go down to that i don't know if we we probably want to save luca um go ahead oh i was gonna say something and i totally lost it oh cat noir is so dumb because (laughs) like I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's just like really, really thick, but in like Jubilation, they have that same dream together. Like, it's not like Cat Noir's like perspective, like, and Ladybug's like dream. It's their s- shared dream. And so he's, he's such an idiot because he doesn't realize that like Ladybug clearly has different feelings for him and he's just like okay well i'm just gonna go off and take care of my own thing bye i guess i guess they both know to some extent at the end of determination right like we end with ladybug trying to tell cat she's feelings and cat takes off but that's because he likes uh marinette now and doesn't and can't reconcile those two so he's like getting out of the situation or at least in me- those two concepts haven't like merged in his head so it's hard and, and kind like... of the same with with marinette with like marinette knows 
uh, Adrian is is trying to get closer to her, but uh, mm-hmm. she's just not feeling it anymore at the, in that episode. I feel like it would have been within, like, if Cat Noir was onto Ladybug's feelings, then I feel like we would have had, like, an Adrian Plog scene about it, because any time that we've ever had, like, that, I don't know, that weird, I don't know what to call it, but anytime we've had sort of like that awkwardness is like Adrian and Plog like talk it out. And Plog's always hilarious about it because he knows that Ladybug's Marinette. So <laughs> I feel like they would have given that us that. And I mean, we know that Tiki knows that Cat Noir is Adrian. Yeah. But... To, to what extent that Adrian realizes Ladybug likes him now um he, he, well, he, it's it, at least it, it it's also, at least not a priority for him yeah well and it also would have been really fun to have plog like tease adrian about it like just yeah it's, just it's true we got mary not talking to tiki at the end but not plog and adrian delaney what do you think uh where and in general what do we think is next after because this is a big moment for the show they, oh. they confirm to themselves they're in love with each other we'll get the identity reveal at some point but what's in between you know I don't know. Like, will Cat Noir try to like woo Marinette? Yeah, we can get some. Oh. Cat. Okay. Other than that, not really sure. Um, maybe some awkward Ladybug Cat Noir stuff. I don't know. I feel like it's already awkward between them. It is. That's just that's a, like, that'd be like if you started dating a coworker. But it's like not a, like the company is like you guys can't date coworkers, and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, that's well, what we don't know what to do now. <laughs> that's what their role like... was from Master Fu, right? They, <laughs> right, they can't right. Know. That's basically. Well, it. I was gonna say, or to put it even, into an even more like, like example is like, oh, we shared an awkward kiss under the mistletoe at the holiday Christmas party. <laughs> And now we have to work with each other each and every day. Just yeah, real awkward. It should thoughts. be interesting. I mean, we can go over some more of where they're at. Um, I really, I really want Adrian to like tap into the crazy like marionette side of things, and just gets really intense and has a board drawn up like this is Marinette's class schedule. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> Because he doesn't have to worry about, like, modeling anymore. So he has more time on his hands to, you know, stalk Marinette. We see, Why not? We see the reversal. <laughs> I, I guess where I'm at is, like, I don't see this as, I, I mean, we'll see next episode. I have no idea. I don't see this as, like, a full reversal of the premise of the show where now Adrian's crushing on Marinette, Ladybug likes uh, Cat Noir. I, I, I don't, and we're going to, like, be in that state for a while. I think it's, like, this is just a big moment for them. The, the the feelings that uh, they've been building for these opposite sides of them coming uh, fully realized and acknowledged by them. But the other side is still there. Like, it's not like Marinette's going to not like Adrian anymore. So I think yeah. that that's still in play in a major way. And I don't I don't expect maybe we have an episode or two of the show having fun with the new dynamics or something. But uh, I, I think it's it's more of working towards the the big the big moment soon with the, the other side still fun. there. If they don't make it fun, I'm going to have a fit. <laughs> well, it's, the show is clearly very much wants to have fun with everything that's going on. I mean, these are very silly episodes, I think. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about the Adrianette date in the museum with uh, Luke and Gagami from First off, Determination. First Adrian's going to be an amazing boyfriend because he remembered that. Well, I mean, it wasn't a small moment, but he remembered that moment. And he's like, that's when things changed. And I'm like. Oh, bless you, you sweet child. Like, you're going to celebrate the first anniversary of our first kiss or our first date. Or... Yeah, will that count? Uh, <laughs> Do you but... remember our first date? It was in the museum. Luca and Kagame were there. <laughs> oh, gosh. That... <laughs> yeah, but that was a big thing, the Puppeteer 2, 2.0 uh, statue scene. Uh, clearly very important to Adrian, which I, I guess in retrospect makes sense that uh, like a cute girl kissed him. And so it's like stuck in his mind. I don't, I don't think this Is that sh- his first kiss? Did we witness it? I think probably, right? 
Um, so I, I guess that makes sense, although we hadn't really, I think, discussed that as such a pinnacle moment, I feel like, in the past. Was, although I, we were very high on Puppeteer 2.0 at the time and called that like a pinnacle, a like a classic ladybug episode. Yeah. Um, so that, that's very in play. What do we think of Luke and Kagami helping them out, just trying to get them both together? I love it. I yeah. hate Luca. Um... You hate Luca? <laughs> the how dare yeah, I mean, you. He's nice in this episode. Like He's fine. Like He's helpful. Do you want my hot Luca take? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put a language warning up here. So children, <gasps> please skip ahead a few minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so Luca, this whole, this whole thing, Luca is like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I care most about Marinette. I'm going to support her and for whatever's right for her, even though I have some feelings for her. And that's great. And he's super nice. I feel like this episode, we crossed a line with, with Luca and I think he's like full cuck mode now, Luca. Like, yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, like, come on, Luca. I was on board before. You're super nice guy. Like, like, have some self respect at this point. Like, you need to like chill. You can and let like, Marinette deal with this on her own at this point. Well, and like him letting Marinette like hang off of him. Like, come on, yeah. buddy. Really? It really? Like, he's he's just so chill. It doesn't even bother him. But like, uh, but he, but I, when he pulled her in for that hug, though, no. I was like, you still have feelings for her. Get out of here. <laughs> you, you know what you're doing. Right. Like, I, it'd be better. Luke, it, it'd be better for yourself if you, I think, d- d- disassociated from this uh, situation also, a little it's bit. It's also the same thing for Kagami, though. Like, Kagami, what are you doing? Like, I mean, I understand it's because you, you're just going to kill Adrian, which is fine. But, like. Kagami is at least, like, yeah, just get together so this is done. Like, I think. Well, she- <laughs> True. And I appreciated her being like, Marinette, you know for a fact that me and Adrian are just friends. Like, very, like, yeah. matter of But no, it's true. Kagami, it's also bad for her, right? Even though she's de- yeah. she has a different emotional state. Yeah, like, she should also, like, uh, they. this is not their obligation. They These these two are too nice. Will they end up together? Probably. Uh, just based <laughs> on <laughs> the way these Kagami things go. Kagami should just beat them both with one of her practice swords. Like, that's what she should do. Yeah. Well, in the... <sighs> The part that gets me is like, like at least Kagami's very straightforward in her advice, and Luca is dealing with Marinette, who's brain dead at times, and bless her soul. But he like talks in riddles with her about this, and I'm like, no, you need to tell her straight up, like you know, also, you like think, Adrian. We start Stop. talking about this tune. Talk, here yeah, what do you mean talks in riddles? See, Luca it. says, "What's what's past is what's past is past. What matters oh. is what tune your heart is playing now." Oh my god, that's what, I'm gonna throw that's that's something. my Luca impression. That's not Luca on the phone or anything. Just to clear things up. Um, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. Uh, I was really hoping. Should I call? Call, should I call Luca now to get his take on no! this? No. You just called him a cuck. No, you can't. Oh yeah, no, I can't. You're right. I can't. <laughs> So yeah, call hopefully him. he he, he won't li- he won't listen to this. Out. He's too cool. Come on, he's fine. He <laughs> he's said before that he listens to the podcast. No, he, we, were, we, were, we were we were we were we were on his podcast. That was it. Remember? You're rooting no, your we, own were, bit. we were no, we were on his <laughs> what bit? We were on his podcast. Come on, but he's not listening. He's not listening to other podcasts. I mean, he's he's too busy uh, constantly consoling the girl he likes <laughs> to be with another guy. I mean, come on. Uh, apparently Kitty Sections as the did they have a record deal last season? Was that a thing? Yes, that yeah. was a thing. They okay. were they were in the notions of getting a rock, a record deal. I guess we're just waiting Which on the is contract. Like, ridiculous and makes no sense. By the way, like okay, guys. Yeah, like these these fourteen year olds uh, get it. Yeah, but they're like Bob Roth won't lie. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. It's never. Uh huh. Sure, Jan. Yeah. Uh. Okay. How about the the lady? And there's Adrianette also in uh in uh illusion. Um. Oh yeah, Adrian's like we can see each other outside of school, Marinette. Yeah, it's very very cute. Um, I mean, uh, that's freaking. It out. was adorable, and I love Alia being like, "Did Adrian say you could spend more time?" <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it is better when Alia's there in the in illusion see? than in it's true than in the termination. Yeah, she, she, they did that on purpose. They purposefully left Alia the out. The episode would have gone very differently if Alia was there. <laughs> Why is Alia not in Kitty section? Give her an instrument. That's a great question. Yeah. She's busy reporting. Yeah, that's true. She already has too many extracurriculars, although she's yeah. not a superhero anymore. Mm. But uh, she's still helping out, I guess. Speak speak for her, yourself, comrade. <laughs> 
there's a reason. Oh, we'll get to the comrades. Uh, <laughs> did, so, oh my god, the fact that they invited Gabriel, I like. Okay, what? okay, okay, okay. Uh, how about the dream, Delaney? The the oh. jubilation, the Lady Noir dream, the creepy baby dolls. What's what was, what was your reaction to all of it? I mean, so like, so I've been spoiled for the creepy baby dolls because someone sent me a tweet. And I, and I was like, this hasn't happened yet. I would definitely remember the creepy dolls. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, what's this? So then I watched, and I was like, oh, there's the creepy dolls. And of course, you know, you're wa- I'm watching it, like, waiting and, like, anticipating the creepy dolls. It was still awful. Um, Why? Why were they dolls? Like, it was so weird. Like, and then... Oh, the actual worst part, like if we're gonna we're just if we're gonna ignore the dolls, is uh Cat's mustache, which made no <laughs> sense. You mean best part? Awful, awful, so bad. Um, the dream was interesting. Um, I enjoyed them like getting married in their superhero outfits, and then yeah, um, there's no identity reveal in yeah, the dream. <laughs> great, and then also they had like the superheroes from the New York special were at the wedding, which I appreciated. Yes, yeah, important. But like, what? They only had like superheroes. It at, also at did, the wedding. <laughs> it like I do feel like it was kind of a weird like I don't understand why Hawk Mo- I mean Monarch whatever his name is who cares uh gave um jubilation to Darker Owl but like whatever like it was kind of weird but um I guess because his dream is to be a superhero. And, I, guess. Guess. I don't know. It's I don't know. I will say, like overall, we've had some really weird dream sequences, but this one wins. Like this, this, <laughs> this one wins. Yeah. Like, like I guess it? they had all these baby dolls because, like, previously we knew they were going to have hamsters and there were going to be a lot of hamsters. I don't know. Yeah, I think because it's a nightmare too. Um, yeah. No, the thing is, they went from having like a reasonable amount of babies to like <laughs> they had like one baby and then instantly had five, and I was like, was what? Like, what? <laughs> Yeah. You guys don't understand. And they how were all just work. like, they were also like in costume. Like it was very strange. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, ba- the babies had the had their oh, own costumes. Yeah. They were like, "Yeah, we're gonna have babies, but they're gonna be dolls." Like, why did you do that? <laughs> that was so scary. There was no reason for that. Well, what are they gonna look like if they're you know? Because we don't know what Ladybug and Cat Noir. They could have like. just done like chibi, like, like little like, like variations. Like, I don't even. They didn't have to do creepy baby dolls. Like they, there were other one could have, one could have been in like a uh, like a black suit with red or not uh, like a black suit with green spots or something like that. Literally anything other than creepy baby dolls. Like what? yeah, creepy they could have been dolls. stuffed animals. Like God, um, maybe baby. maybe they don't actually want to have kids. <laughs> They're like baby dolls are enough. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're fourteen, so it's like this like very vague concept. Yeah, True. I, I, I I loved it. The the stream. This is a highlight of the show. It's beautiful. Uh, the wedding. They they, they kiss in it. They have a wedding. Yeah, it's it's good. There's yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's all it's all. They go on nice. vacation. Yeah, There's they're on alarm vac- clocks. Vacation was funny. Um, the I will say the alarm clocks like that was good. Like the alarm clocks. Yeah. Did we interpret this as this is both of their combined desires? Yes. Yes. I, yeah, think I think they so. say that too. Yeah, I guess the only thing is like, is this like their individual desires or is it just a merging of their desires when they function as a group or something, if that makes sense. Like uh, Well, and then I think they tried to like pass it off as like They did. They were like Oh, no, they must have messed with it done. somehow. Yeah. yeah. It was an alter. Okay, it was a fake it was a fake news stream. That's what oh, I was saying. Okay. <laughs> That's not how jubilation works. It was, but a, it was a it was a that was actually a deep fake, guys. That wasn't was uh, deep really fake. our deep dream. Fake. Yeah. Those babies were deep fake. <laughs> Those were deep fake babies. <laughs> okay. Uh what what else? Delaney, any other I mean we can get back to it. Any other Love Square comments before we move on to Monarch? I like I don't even like they're exhausting me. Um It'll be interesting to see, like, maybe Ladybug kind of chasing after Cat Noir, like, how that plays out. But also, it kind of, like, it kind of sucks. I mean, Ladybug, like, straight up rejected Cat, so. I know. I mean, she, yeah. Well, uh, Cat rejects Ladybug. Is that it? Maybe. Is that, uh, is, oh, yeah, in in the past year. Uh, have, have we, have we lessen the blow at all on this i mean we don't know where we're going i guess that's the thing but that's the um, thing we don't know what's happening yeah. 
I, I think they'll do it in a fun way. Um, but yeah, I just I just think it's not like going to be we're going back to square one, except it's. Yeah, I don't. I, well, I don't think that it's sustainable. We also don't have time to go back to square one. Yeah. Just 20, 20 episodes left. It's just not. I mean, you can do a lot in an episode. It's a lot of episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting because this really is really the culmination of these two. The the lady, I guess. I, there's no like name for the one of them liking another one. You know, it's like Le- Adrianette in the opposite way, and then depression. Lady, lady. <laughs> depression. <laughs> depression. Is that the next episode? Insanity. That's the, 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 the depression <laughs> power. I mean, jubilation. Maybe it. Maybe it's depression. Yeah. It might be. Yeah. I've granted you the power of depression. To I feel like I have the superpower. <laughs> Only affects me. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> you've just been you've, it's just in your alliance ring that's all it is yep delaney okay. got depression i got anxiety dylan what did you get <laughs> oh a whole just a kidding mine's ptsd it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just yeah that's the uh, hawk moth giving you miraculous powers that's all it is okay so okay speaking of gabriel uh slash like monarch because we have both this new here. look is like aggressive i can't handle it it's the eyes which, which new I look can't, i can't you, handle monarch's the outfit or well, I'm, all I'm, white I mean, gabriel all white gabriel is like aggressive. <laughs> like i can't like I'm, I'm like blinded every time he's on screen <laughs> yeah, i mean he really he really like mixed it up i mean April, April, why is he going with that outfit I don't know. Like, and he's like, this is, I don't, is this his, like, I'm dying outfit? Like, I feel like it, it's such a contrast to, like, Monarch. Monarch's, like, costume. It's all black, yeah. Didn't you know? Yeah. He can't be the bad guy because he's dressed all in white. Right? He's akumatizing himself. That was is, is it, like, not Labor Day yet or something? Right? Like, it must that's, be. That's a great question. Um, that <laughs> is. Do they have Labor Day in France? Probably not. Probably oh, not. I feel like they do. They, no, they probably have Labor Day. Uh, I mean, we Christmas. can get get comrades like uh, related, I guess. Oh, um, comrades. Okay, uh, monarch. So, okay, the, to wrap up, we had a whole discussion last week. I outlined how I thought the process with the alliance rings would work, um, and so we see in <gasps> multiple times, monarch in in jubilation. Monarch takes Daisy's power, hits transfer on his ring, and it shows up inside the alliance ring. And then at the end. We see De- the D- Daisy go back into the cage from the ring after the villain is defeated. So I think it's basically what like outlined it, 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 but the spirit of it, right? Like it's like the ring. There's a there's a connection between the it alliance just, ring and his ring. It's like magic science. Like it doesn't it, make, like I yeah. Don't... Yes, but this poses a huge problem because how is like because they're not necessarily connected to a miraculous anymore. So like. Gabriel's wearing those rings all the the freaking time, and he's not necessarily, like, well, not Gabriel, but Monarch's wearing those rings at, all the time. But it's not necessarily that he's getting the powers from those rings or really wearing the miraculous because he's giving the, their yeah, so spirit. He, yeah, he, <laughs> like, he connects to the, the cage that Kwame's in, and he uh, transfers he, from there. Or yeah. you give grid me your power. Um, I guess the, the big thing that I didn't know is that it seems like the Kwame itself transfers to the Alliance ring. Yeah. So because... then how is Mer- how is Ladybug supposed to get back the mirac? Like, yeah, that's the other thing. I don't. That's it's not even like she's trying to get the Miraculouses back because they don't exist anymore. She's literally just trying to get the Kwame. Yeah, back. you have to get the Kwame yeah. back. Yeah. Um, but there's a uh, yeah, the, the, he's able to transfer the Kwame from. His, the cage into his ri- into his uh, miraculous and ring into the alliance ring. How much does Kagami's mom know? Yeah, and I guess it's he needed the tomorrow. science tech. Yeah, I, I said I speculated last time he might have put some of the miraculous powder in each of the alliance rings. There's no confirmation on that. I don't know exactly how the alliance rings get the well, Kwame. It's it seems almost like they're tra- It's like whenever someone airdrops you a photo. Yeah, he can, he can just send the Kwame over the internet. Yeah, basically. he can just send the yeah. Kwame over there. They can they can't save it because they they don't know that that's what's happening. I, I guess you're so. right. They could probably hack the alliance ring while the Kwame's in the alliance ring, and then that's the new miraculous now. And he likes they could like sever the connection maybe back to yeah. Like, yeah. But but I mean, it also 
they're they're gonna have to get alliance rings, but then that doesn't make sense because they I, I, they just have to know that the alliance ring is also in play. Also, so smart of Gabriel it, making it track people's movements <laughs> <laughs> and looking for looking unusual for Lady, patterns. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, no, Meredith, you ran away with that ring. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> and then a tractor movements, just like an Apple Watch. He gets, a, he gets an alert. Yeah, that's... Uh, the, was... the, the, also, I, I thought that was very funny, the step counter as Ladybug. Um, yes. That was so smart. Is, is April, how impressed are you with Gabriel from I his mean, new monarch tactic? Uh, it's so evil, but like... Like, it's so foolproof at the same time, because there's literally, he can just send the Miraculous over to whoever he wants if he needs them to have that Miraculous power. Um, has everything all trapped nice and tight, and <laughs> I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. Also, he's very selfish, because... He gave Adrian an alliance ring of himself. <laughs> but then his has uh, Emily, so that wasn't very nice of him. <laughs> I was oh, yeah. very upset yeah, so, about that. So Gabriel's, th- which episode was this in? Gabriel's ring has, uh, has Emily It's an in it. illusion because he asks, he's like, alliance, and then Emily shows up. And I was like, you gave your son an alliance ring of himself, and you thought that was going to be okay. Yeah. When when did he when did he digitize his dead wife? Did he bring the digitizing that, scanner that's what down I, to the I dead wife? I literally wrote party? that down. I was like, did he scan his dead wife? Like, how did that even work? <laughs> Is there? Did he just like line the cage with like a cute little scanner or the cage, the coffin, and then like? Okay. Scan- <laughs> I, I think he probably just mocked up uh, her image digitally. I don't think he like scanned her. That's my maybe. Guess. But Actually, you can change I'm not, what they're I, wearing. I don't think we should just throw that. Like, I think he like the likelihood that he scanned scanned her is not low. Like, I think he probably did. He he would have had to do it. But how, how, how close are we to Gabriel creating a full AI of his dead wife and going full her? And uh, that's his new wife. I feel like we're pretty close. AI. Like we're like basically there. Like we, we could. Like that would solve our problem. <laughs> you don't need to bring it back to life. You have yeah. fake you don't AI. Need to make a wish. You've got you've got hollow mom. Hollow mom. Hollow mom. Oh man, we 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 deserve hollow mom. Honestly, is that hollow mom in the ring? We need to see more of her. I, okay, so whenever we saw um, nice dad Gabriel, I legit thought it was hollow dad. And I was like, oh, Hollow Dad's back. I'm so glad he's alive. Wait, wait, wait. So we, we see Gabriel acting super nice, and you're like, this can't be real. He, this yes, must be Hollow Dad. Yes, exa- I mean, that was, was exactly fair, like, my thought. He was making <laughs> breakfast, and he was like, call me Dad. Like, what? Did you did you have a head injury? Like, what? Yeah. The- is, this our new, he, is this our new theory that nice asked, Gabriel is actually just Hollow Dad? Is it because he's dying from the cataclysm? Like, oh, what is, he's, he's like, I need to be nice to my son now. And yeah, what, hap- what happened to him getting him. cataclysm? That wasn't well, in there. Well, look. We've got 20 episodes left. We'll okay. figure it out. I will out. say, my wife asks me every episode, because she's like, he, is, what, what's the deal with his arm? And I'm like, don't know yet. He's just dying. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. We should find that out soon. But also, he he asked, how would you like your French toast? You can only make French toast <laughs> yeah, one I way, know. Gabriel. <laughs> oh, um, I want... I don't... I want it to be really runny. Like, no, that's you not... Don't about, <laughs> yeah. You don't know about French French toast. Like, you know Maybe what? You make different. a really good point. Yeah. What do we think? Did you know mo- you're actually supposed to toast the bread before you make first? first? Okay. Yes! By, by, by the way, Monarch can use five uh, miraculous powers at the same time. I really oh. enjoyed that. Like he's like, I leveled up. And it's like, yeah, no yeah he's like proud so it. proud of himself. Yeah. Also, like, did you, did you like work out? Like, how yeah. did you, like how, how did this happen? Yeah. Uh, how did you get there? I know. He, he he figured out his limit and uh, he's using it correctly. Um, but yeah, April, we need more of your thoughts on Nice Dad Gabriel. And please call me dad. Will you please, be calling him dad? Please call Wait. me dad. <laughs> Is he your dad, April? I, I think I texted you and I was like, Dylan, if he if, so he has to be called daddy, I'm gonna, just going to die. <laughs> what What if he said, please call me daddy? What would you have, how, what would you have thought? I would have, I would have died, honestly. <laughs> April wouldn't I would have, I would have immediately shut off the TV, like, texted you guys and was like i'm done i'm i'm, I'm legitimately done with this show. <laughs> april's like i'm out 
A- no, April's like, I've let been ca- I've been ends. calling him daddy. I didn't need you to tell me let that. Me, let me know how it ends, guys. Yeah. <laughs> In 40 years when Ladybug finally ends. You're right. <laughs> like, I was, uh, he said, call me dad. And I was like, dad? Oh, That's and then, weird. <laughs> and then, like, he's like, he's just so, he's so bitter. And he's like, father. And it's like, bro, can you, like, you're sending yeah. mixed signals. <clears throat> Also, you're a baby. I'm sorry they dumped food all over you. <laughs> so good that they dumped the food Oh, on. my God. It was so awful. I was like, this is terrible. This is the worst plan ever. And then my favorite is Alia. Because <laughs> Miss Bustier is like, you're not going to do that. Alia's like, yep, I am. And she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, <laughs> and and the way they animate it, so they just like throw it onto them. It's not even that they, they drop it's, it on them. No, it's just straight up like. Well, even, and like Meredith like goes back in, and she like pushes it in there, and then like she like spills it, and then she like pushes it in there. Like, oh no, yeah. I bet that's so expensive. I yeah, like, I also <sighs> enjoyed Adrian being like, "Aren't you like a little mad?" Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm mad. You're never coming back here again." <laughs> yeah, but him. <laughs> All right, so he's 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 still nice dad right now, right? Like he's, yeah. How, how long will? So he's 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 a little bit manipulative because a little bit. Well, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah okay. He says he says to Adrian, uh, he's "Are like, you sure well, you wanted to go back to the way it was?" Yeah. Yeah, because he's like, "Oh, well, it's because of this that we can spend more time together now." Like yeah. the thing that you don't want, like. <laughs> We have to keep it because otherwise you don't get your love. Right. So uh, rude. I know so that, that, that was rough. Um, he, he, Gabriel says they were close. He tell Adrian that we were, we were closer before your mother disappeared. So that's interesting. I can't imagine them being closer. <laughs> now, well, now we know that it's it's a nice dad, uh, nice daddy Gabriel, right? Did, like that's what we say. Like, did dad? Like often cook in the, like make <laughs> meals because please continue referring to him as dad. Thank you. Thank okay, you. I will say I we have okay. I think it's pretty clear like in the episode that he has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, it's like the first Maybe. time. Yeah, but like everyone seems like totally like like oh like this is like this is weird, but it's also normal. Like I will say it was really funny. Like when Natalie's like he's in the kitchen and he's like he's in the kitchen kitchen. Like, <laughs> He hasn't been in the kitchen since mom was here. <laughs> yeah, he's left his. his How do you want your French room. toast, son? <laughs> yeah, like, really, I don't even, like. <laughs> no powdered sugar today, dad. <laughs> like, like, it makes sense when you ask go, about the egg, but, like. Go, go ask Natalie how she wants her eggs. <laughs> like, scramble. Do we have any other nice dad uh, highlights? What is <laughs> Oh, he says, uh, well, oh, spo- exci- well spotted, young man, to Nino in the video. <laughs> yeah, that was event. good. Like, I was, I he's, like, that. super excited for parent-teacher conference. Yeah, he's like, we're going to the parent-teacher conference, yeah. Yeah, that was, everyone's like, what? Like, what? what? Like, your dad's going? <laughs> like, you're going? Okay. And he gave, like, a legit, like, supportive dad answer about the worksheet about after school or whatever and he's like oh well we have to like sit down and figure it out because he doesn't want to be a model anymore and i'm like that's all you ever wanted adrian to do was model he knows chinese (laughs) he takes fancy (sighs) yeah uh and he when we we talked about when he says he when he gets mad he says call me father uh not dad and then at the end he says and please call me dad (laughs) like bro like dad so now, so like, April's obliging by that, and it's not so, <laughs> now calling him dad. Fine, whatever, dad. I hope he stay. I hope he stays nice, dad, Gabriel. I, uh, I feel we like de- he's we deserve going it. To. April, Before April he... deserves it, and we deserve <laughs> it. Before he notably <laughs> dies from the cataclysm, yes. I well, agree. yeah, like I, that's honestly what it feels like. That he's only being nice, dad, because he doesn't know what's going to happen to him. Like he took a huge risk having Cat Noir cataclysm. Is that, is that how you interpret it? I, I I think the main thing I thought was like he's everything's going right. His super oh. smart plan is no, so. No, that is fair. No, my 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 traumatized brain immediately took that in the most toxic way. Like I, th- I think it could be all of them. Yeah, could be that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think there's a lot. Like, 
he, he's he's high on his supply, so certainly right now, and that's I but, think why. But uh, but also like you're not wrong because it thinks besides obtaining Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses, everything's kind of going his way. Like except he, has, he had the chance to get them in the premiere and didn't. Look, the mistake got were tricked. Made. Yeah, but oh, by if, the way, I had a dream. So. Yes. Yes. I have. I like. Were, were there creepy weird. baby dolls in that? No. Thank was God. Dad um, there? Was Dad? Yes, Dad was there. Um, before, <laughs> so this was before. Like this was like a while ago. So I have Ladybug dreams a lot, which is like really weird, but it's fine. So sometimes I'm Ladybug, and sometimes I'm just like watching. Mm. So um, in this dream, uh, there was like a lot going on in this dreams, but specifically, so um, Ladybug like fell into a trap, and like like. Tiki died. It was like, it was like, so like her costume was like melting. Anyway, anyway, and Hawkroft was like about to win, but then Adrian was in danger, and so he, then he gave Marinette a miraculous, like before she like fully transformed or whatever, so that she could help him save Adrian. That happened in my dream. Wow, a lot I of like other it. stuff happened too, but like weird. Yeah, and Dad was there. Dad was there. <laughs> Look, I'm just glad Dad can be there for well, us. Uh, hopefully, one of us has a nice dad dream soon. <laughs> and hope, is it and, you? And it's, Are and you it's, hoping and it's, for and the it's nice April, dad? And it's definitely April. <laughs> okay. And uh, other uh, other dad uh, <laughs> other dad items. On I mean, the... he's working with Kagame's mom. Like that's confirmed. Yes. She knows. So. We knew he was working with Tomoe, Kagami's mom, uh, but it's confirmed that she knows about Gabriel being monarch now. I, Which we I think would assume, like, but it is confirmed at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think, I almost feel like that was kind of like a wasted moment because she would have had to have known, like, hey, Gabriel, how did you just happen upon all of these miraculous? Yeah, if they're making the rings that, together, yeah, yeah. Like, that monarch stole... Like, don't insult also, my like, intelligence. Also, like, how are you okay with just him being a supervillain? Like, what? He's akumatized you and your daughter. Yeah. Well, but he also came to her with a really great, like, plan for a new product that everyone's going to want. And, I mean, everyone seems to be getting their own alliances. Mm-hmm. Though, I wonder if, much like the real world, uh, that is dad recording phone conversations because that would help him. <laughs> oh, so is, is dad spying through the lines yeah. rings? Yeah. Cause he's already got data? like, the, yeah. Cause he's already got like the, the, tr- the movement tracker. Like, why wouldn't you just go like full blown, you know, collecting yeah. data it's, on it'll everybody. Be interesting. Yeah, they they could they could do that. They could say he's he's doing other things as well with the. Rings. Because the only reason why I thought of that too is because Alia and Mar- Marinette were having that conversation over the phone, and yeah. I was like, should you guys be talking about this over the phone? How, like, I, I want to talk about that it. Could, that could be like one of the conflicts this season. It's like once they figure it out, they're like, oh my god, we have to convince everyone alliance rings are bad. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I want to see a situation where um, dad akumatizes someone and they don't have an alliance ring. So we can't give them a, a miraculous. And then that's how, like, Ladybug and Cat Noir figure it out. Yeah, because... that, that would be interesting if someone doesn't have a ring. And I, I agree, Delaney. I wrote this down. I think the show is kind of going in an anti-technology theme direction. Like yeah. a technology versus nature. We don't need to get into it too much. But says the show that is completely made <laughs> 3D. Right. I mean, I, I yeah, I think Thomas kind of has an older, old school kind of uh, environmentalist uh, anti technology slants. Uh, he versus, does love like know. traditional animation. Um, I mean, this is 3D, but uh, the, no. the the rings. I think we're going in kind of anti rings, anti that type of thing. So we'll see if if that continues throughout the season. Um, and then we mentioned it, but uh, Gabriel uh, has the the illusion video of with the lightning. So um, they they think they know how he's giving the miraculouses now. So they're kind of not they're not close to figuring out it's the rings at this point. So we will see. Oh, okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean we figured it out already, but you know. Uh 
because because we saw it on the screen. Okay. Well, I mean, like I mean, like wheel as in like Ladybug and Cat Noir and all of them figure out that the lightning was not a real thing. Well, are we members of the resistance? That's the next topic. So we. All right, pick. Um, I'm honey mustard. Okay, Ooh. we didn't even have to get very far before. What's your sauce? Okay, <laughs> what's your so sauce? Honey like, yeah, like what else are we gonna do? Uh, so Nino has re- the, his resistance, which se- seems like this will come up throughout the season. So worth uh, sa- talking. You, about you it, know so, what? Yeah. You say that, but <laughs> it didn't come up next episode. Uh... It could only be like th- this episode thing. Yeah, but they they set up Lila and stuff. We'll see. God, I hate her so much. Me too. Uh, sweet and sour. Sweet, she's sweet and sour. That's a good one. Because she's obviously the double agent. Sweet and sour. Yeah, uh, but the, everyone's comrades. That's my yep. favorite part. That and I love has. it. Uh, look, Nino's just a young communist, and we support him and all of his well, uh, love, young communist friends. I love that he's not using the phrase comrade in like a communist way like he's like oh comrade ketchup and i'm like no like this is our alliance comrade right. like i like, guess he's not using it in that way but our, it's obviously this is our resistance comrade this right. is our lunch comrade <laughs> like, i like that they kept that in the english one there was no like panic over that like it's 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 it's, 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 it's very funny though that everyone's like oh, also right. i didn't know what like half of those sauces were <laughs> We could yeah. go over all this. I had to look up a lot of them. They're French sauces, yeah. Uh, that was my guess. Can I be um, Comrade Worcestershire? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny, Worcestershire? I don't know. Because there's there's a correct way to say it. I know I'm not saying it. Correctly. I know. I just wasn't. I just wasn't expecting it. That's all. It was so good, and it was just such an able answer. Comrade relish, no one's relish, right? Oh man, you are I, don't, to be relish. I don't want to be so, relish though. Okay, I was like, that'd be the comrade. Uh, what's the the Taco Bell avocado uh, ranch? Oh, tra- yeah. Avocado yeah. Ranch. yeah, that's that's oh, my favorite. No, no, no. Taco Bell, avocado. I want to be the uh, uh, comrade creamy jalapeno <laughs> from Chewy's. <laughs> from Chewy's, yes, yeah. Okay, yes, that's good. <laughs> Uh, no one chose queso. What's up? Oh, queso. Oh, yeah, Delaney. Come on, Delaney's queso. Okay, I can be queso. I mean, I feel like that's well. So I'm looking for uh, for uh, Alia's. Uh, so sauce. I was like, what? Like it's in the notes somewhere. Alia's comrade. I'm gonna screw up the pronunciation. Bur Matri de Hotel, which is fr- a French butter, as I've learned. Okay. Ooh, cause she's smooth like butter. Okay, I'm there for that. <laughs> Mar- Marinette's comrade be- bechamel. What is okay. that? I've heard of that before. So it's a, wh- wh- a white sauce. Yeah, I've heard of it too, but I had to look. I had to confirm. I uh, do you think it's no? <laughs> Adrian's comrade mayo. <laughs> so good. A plus. Yeah. Do we agree that Adrian's comrade mayo? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, comrade ketchup. Okay. Um, Why would you want to be ketchup? Yeah, we also have Bernays, Burgundy, Cocktail, Grand Verneur, Ioli, Gabra. G- 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 okay. A lot of them are spelled differently than they're pronounced. I wrote down the actual spell. I turned on subtitles for the, for for the, the sauces, and it was on it. It was. On did you pause pause it too so you could see all of them? You to see the names, yeah. Anyway, Nino, I love Nino's resistance. It's very uh, fun. We include Gabriel too. Uh, in, in oh, yeah, yeah, he's tartar, tartar sauce. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> That's also really good. <laughs> And uh, Lila's comrade, sweet and sour, and yeah, she's the double agent because we see her reporting to Gabriel. Now, here's the big question with Lila: Okay, does she does she know that, as always, we've discussed this before? Does she know Gabriel is monarch? I think so. See, I so that is something that's tricky. I do, I don't think we have any evidence that she knows. No, the big the biggest evidence we've seen is this episode when yeah, she's reporting she, to him, and he's like, "Why would this be relevant to me?" And it's like, "Because you're the target." So yeah. it's e- either they're playing it cool and they both know that she knows or she doesn't know. And that's why he I was think deflecting. they're like they're trying to be mysterious about it. But we know that she knows about dad and his alternate lifestyle. So um, so that's why they're like, oh, like these kids at school are trying to akumatize a parent so they can see how he gets the miraculous. I don't, I don't like impressions. 
Yes. <laughs> it was a good Lila impression. I, I, I kind of don't think she knows either, but I think most people assume I think she does. She does. I think she does. Because why why would she go to dad with that information? If I she just don't think know. dad has any reason to tell Lila. You know? But like, she's like, someone's trying to be like, trying to get akumatized so they can figure out monarch secrets. Like, why would it be of any importance to her whether or not those kids figure out how Monarch is well, getting her and Chloe are bad guys now. Oh yeah, Chloe. yeah. It, it, we need to see why. If Chloe also, if if she also doesn't know Gabriel's Monarch, we need to see how they're aligned with Gabriel. Like, what what did Gabriel do to pull them in? Or at least Lila. Uh, I think the promise Chloe is just doing just her own like thing. they just hate Ladybug. Yeah, right, I think kind of I think that. Chloe's just doing her own thing. I don't. I don't know that she's necessarily aligned with uh, dad in any way, shape or form. I think that was just kind of like a red herring so that we would sit here and on this podcast and be like, what's Chloe doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Look, we have, I mean, we haven't seen enough. Um, the, the big yeah. Chloe moment is she calls uh, Ladybug Lady Lame. That's true. I thought this that was never would have happened if Queen B was still yeah. around. Well, we got it. We got it. Chloe. Okay, um, Chloe. I thought Lady Lame uh-huh. was a good one. Okay. That was- um Sick. any other any other any resistance predictions we might see them again in the finale maybe. i feel like this is a big <laughs> season arc with the resistance but maybe I'm really wrong. well that seems to be like a a trending theme because like everyone's like we have to do something to help them because they don't have friends anymore yeah i think it pays <laughs> off that arc and stuff so yeah. i and i guess like the fact that their immediate friend group is trying to do something I, I guess that would come up again especially if we're involving Lila like that girl just won't go away <laughs> yeah and it's the way to it's pay Take off whatever we're doing with Lila yeah yeah okay other things from the episode and then we have a special segment to get to after by the way um so clean uh we who apparently exists marinette's yeah, a, a, we have yep. never heard of before ever. a clone of never, marinette ever. that she uh it was just, so i like how they explain it she was uh, she's above a year in, in from marinette and so she's and in she, high school so she's in high school now so she was with marinette's classmate last year yeah mm-hmm. it's very funny that's like oh here's fake ladybug like okay yes. this show well i will say the show the starts and i was baffled i was like what 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 part were you were you back? Yeah, I was like, okay, what? It's really so. You know, Marinette's just running, and then we just see another ladybug, and we're like, what? Yeah, that's fair. Also, Marinette goes for runs in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Did have we seen Marinette running before? No. Do teenagers also, run? Um, I did. Okay. But I was I was insane. So I was. Insane. <laughs> I mean, what I'm is, still what insane. What is Marinette? <laughs> <You know. laughs> Look, Marinette's got her own problems to work out. I, I can only focus on mine. <laughs> and, um, uh, but okay, what are we doing with Marinette's hair? <laughs> because so her, we see, we see uh, at the beginning of determination, it's up, her it's down, down, it's up, it's down. Adrian's like doing? waving to Marinette on the the moped when her hair's down. Yeah, yeah. I really <laughs> enjoy like bringing the moped back. Yeah, I'm glad that that's a consistent like, piece. Like, what yeah. her her. Grandma got that fur. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, but we're also seeing her actively use it. Have when have we seen that before this? Uh, didn't um, we saw it in determination and we saw it in um jubilation. Okay, I didn't notice. You're welcome. I, I take uh, these exhaustive outline. I still didn't write that down. I didn't. Wow. I didn't Oped it. is so important. It's like another character. Yeah. Yes. It is crucial. <laughs> the, to the plot of the show. Oh, we'll we, we need to talk about the anime sword. Yes. Oh, yeah! So, you see? So good. Wa- anime sword spotted. Wax list spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever there's a fake ladybug, they lucky charms for a giant anime sword. It's so it's good. Favorite. It's so <laughs> fun. Best. It's yeah. just like, like, just so good. It's, 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 it was such a good joke the first time, season two, and they, they bring it up every time, I think. Or whenever she gets the big giant bazooka gun, yeah, and then just show. is like, I, mean, I only need this. <laughs> I re- I still enjoy the gag of, like, really heavy things for no reason. Like, also, this is not the first time she's had a bowling ball. Well, my oh, yeah. favorite part is that she gets the bowling ball, she struggles to hold it, but then is somehow able to throw it up in the air. <laughs> 
I know. Like, whatever. All right. How? Do you have super strength or not? Figure it out, Ladybug. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Uh, I want. I want to talk like, about arms, arms, <laughs> arms. <laughs> Transfer all my power to the arms. <laughs> and so, yeah, Tiki should pick up the bowling ball. Why can't she at the do uh, whatever? Anyway, Maybe cat, we get squashed. Cat, 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 and uh, cataclysming after he cataclysmed his yeah. da- dad in the beginning. You got to calm down, bro. Like he, he almost uh, cataclysms Darker Owl after pissed off at the dream, and then he. Yeah. Uh, he is forced to cataclysm Manipula because she is the shield. Or she's a but she just does device. it to be like, haha. Right. Yeah. It doesn't seem, I guess it got rid of his, it used up his cataclysms. Yeah, so there's does. some utility there. But I think, I think this is like a purposeful thing with the show is traumatizing Cat even more with his cataclysm. Well, he had to have his own piece of trauma. Like Marinette's got, or Ladybug's got losing the miraculouses, and Cat Noir has cataclysming somebody. Yep. So. It makes sense. They each have to have trauma. That's okay, how they bond. Equal trauma. Yeah, that's that's a good ship. Equal trauma. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I learned anything in group therapy. <laughs> uh, the lion's ring. Mar- we see Marinette refuses the lion's ring gift from her mom. And then okay. Adrian also refuses it the next episode. I have a problem with that gift from her mom. Because why would her mom get her a Lila one? Why? She knows she doesn't like Lila. <laughs> I think fair. it's just set to that by default. I think you know. No, oh, I think they pick, pick them. One, so you no, they don't, they don't, there's not like you buy no. either a Lila no, or. No, I think uh, they do because they like all talk about like making an active choice to get like the Adrian one or to get the. That's so, that's so one. dumb. If that's true, you can't just pick which one at the start. No, they make you actively choose. Interesting. Okay. And why would her mom? I guess get she got her a Lila one. Can you one buy a Lila one? Thank you, Delaney. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone would buy Adrian, probably. Um, also, and that's why I also thought it was so rude of Gabriel to give Adrian an Adrian one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't give. <laughs> to hey, son, one. I know you don't want to model anymore, but here is a constant reminder of you model not modeling anymore. <laughs> and him with the ring, with with the nice dad scene, asking yes. him, him stuff. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Adrian also, being on the ring is very good. They should also, bless it. him for not like choosing to not wear one because two chunky rings is too much, Adrian. What kind of message yeah, are rings. you sending? Six rings. Um, but yeah, <sighs> they both, they, they, I guess plot wise, they both have to have, one, have them not want the ring. But also, Marinette made sense. That, they're not yeah. wearing, like rings. It really bothers me. I, I guess they it. both make sense. They're not, well, they're not what? They like wear them on like their knuckle. Oh, yeah. I hate it. hate it. It's awful. I guess so then, like, you could easily access it with your thumb. Scroll it, but it's, like, super weird, and I hate it. It's, like, not how you wear a ring. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that was fashionable at some point. So if they wrote this in, like, like three years ago, I get it. Because I think that was... Probably they really did. I mean, they really did. I feel like that was trendy at the (laughs) time, was having, like, the knuckle rings. Well, I hate it. I just remember them being everywhere. Okay, other random things we haven't talked about. Uh, we have some quotes. Uh, I'm Marinette. I'm a very happy. I'm very happy to be a normal girl with a normal life, and so yes. should everyone else. Okay, we're referencing the intro again. Thank you. Um, also, Marinette's so sketchy. She's just like, I'm gonna go buy paint, and it's like you were, you're a butthead. Yeah. Like for your she- mom. Did your oh, mom ask so for nice. pay? We, we didn't talk about this with dad. Is uh, Dad takes, uh, every time he takes Kalki's power in order to voyage the Megakuma, was, right to the so person. Funny. Yes, I he hate, saves time. I hate it. <laughs> so we went through <laughs> many seasons fun. where he did not have the voyage and the the, the Akuma no, got he, there just he fine. Really, he really, will, he's like, I'm going to take advantage of this. I got this. Like, time also, is of the like, essence. <laughs> the, like, hamster food that he's feeding. The yes, mommy. and he... He like snaps and the food goes it, into the cage. Is yeah. dad making that food himself for the Kwame? Yeah, who's ma- yeah? Is this is this I easy to buy it at the pet store? Pet store food. Like. <laughs> it, that's what it looks. I mean, I've eaten some things that have looked like kibble before that weren't. <laughs> what are kibble. you eating? Yeah, what food. are you talking about? There is no people food that looks like kibble. Like I'm a little concerned. Oh, have you ever had Ethiopian food? It's really good. 
<laughs> I have. So, there, is a, there is a restaurant nearby. I'll, I'll try it. Okay, so we'll you look, should. Okay, we'll look for the kibble. Okay. okay. Uh, illusion. We in the beginning. X Y is like, is like he's like Hawkmoth. No Shadow Moth. No Monarch. I, I that mean, was he was good. close. Yeah. Uh, he's like the king. Wait, Monarch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Why is no. he that? Marin why is Mr. Banana there? Why? Why? Mr. Banana's there. Mr. Uh, Banana. Like, classic gag. <laughs> like why? <laughs> We see Alec in, in like drag or at least a wig uh, following up on last season. I love his curly blonde wig. Beautiful. Uh, Marinette and I are FaceTiming on the way to school and then they meet each other. That was that was good. Uh, Alia says woot at one point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, here's a quote from Nino. You, for- you forget Ladybug always fixes everything in the end with her magic ladybugs. Magic ladybugs. You forget That's that. Classic. We don't forget Nino. They we do. Know. Everyone forgets the magic ladybugs. <laughs> Uh, we didn't talk about the whole convoluted thing in uh, Illusion with um, he how, Monarch he voyages to the sewer, makes the invisible little monarch <gasps> oh, venom, yeah. and then Ladybug counters it with cheese. And it didn't even seem like Ladybug even really knew what was happening, but had instincts to like deal with it anyway. Yeah. Um, and then he still tricks it with diving into the water and stuff. I mean, it, it's it's the show is impressive with like the detailed like stuff that makes sense. Like this is one of the most intricately written shows on television. It's just like sometimes it's like very uh, it's a borderline convoluted and like intricate, I guess. And in, in meanwhile, in determination, they just completely forgot about um, uh, thing. about uh, what Luca the uh, the bull. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we never he ripped his thing. Him. He was holding him. Oh, do they? They, he, they don't dead his thing. I don't. Remember. Yeah, and I was just like, "Is this not going to work?" Because one, there's a lot of time left in this episode, but also, they made it very clear that like they would get pieces of the like object by ripping the by destroying yeah. the programs, and they never destroyed his program. So yeah, I didn't know in that. theory, I was they little... didn't. They didn't fully. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> take care uh, of that. I was like, I was expecting at least like a walk over, pick it up thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a good call on that. Uh, more quotes. Cat says that's awesome sauce. Um, know, Marinette Kat. says you were right, comrade. Catch up. Having friends is like having superpowers. Uh, I hate them. Shut up. You actually have superpowers. <laughs> Uh, determination. Uh, we talked about that. Oh, Marinette's uh, freaking out. What's the Adrian says we kiss Marinette. So what's the official distance for a kiss? Anyway? And good. she takes and out I, the tape measure. I love that she had the tape measure because <laughs> she wants like she designs clothes and stuff. So why wouldn't she have a tape measure with her? Because she had like the I say the flexible one that you use to take like clothing measurements. And I was like, yes, you really. Uh, I guess she I might have it. that on hand. Yeah. I, I have one. That this was me uh, at Marinette's age with Ain Katara and Cave of Two Lovers. They're breaking out the distance of their kiss. So yes. I related oh, to this. Oh. Uh, Adrian says, all I know is that I'd like to be in Luca's place when uh, uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh, Lucas. <laughs> then you should take his place, says Kagami. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, go, just run over there and just knock him down. Just... Also, they like legit trapped them in, yeah. <laughs> in a display. <laughs> like, that's so rude. <laughs> like you know what uh fire alarm haha <laughs> also what yes. is that even for i don't know if maybe if there's it. like an akuma alert happening. yeah i think we i think we saw it with when uh so that's an akuma alert thing yeah uh we have veronique as a manipula actually a new villain um the mac is determination and vulnerability oh mary uh ladybug says you're in great shape these days kitty cat yep complimenting him weird yeah what do we think about that it's weird i didn't like it <laughs> yeah and then ladybug hesitates with the wax cat uh noir yeah uh cat says the real your your real power isn't in the objects but how you use them so it's like mm. sweet like knows about you know everything like so that sweet so sweet also the mayor being like super um stern and that's a new side of him because maybe he can work on that with both yeah well and i well i wonder if like he really took his wife's um criticism of him 
like to heart and that's why he's like nope i'm not backing down on this like this is what i've decided no but, i think chloe doesn't make his life like miserable that too but he was kind of mean and i was like oh okay mayor i see you i mean overall the mayor sucks so yeah speaking of chloe where what palace is she getting food from uh, I heard where she lives. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't she just? Th- that's a hotel. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what she meant. That's how I interpreted. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Over. Okay. Del- uh, Delaney. Any other things or final thoughts on these episodes? Uh, I really enjoyed these episodes as much as they made me want to die. Um. <clears throat> gonna have to see what happens with uh this. Uh. With uh, with like Marinette Adrian, and but then Cat Noir, and like like I don't know, stress this like new romance thing. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, April. I'm just I'm stressed out. I don't know. I don't know what's I don't know what's okay. going on. Okay, we'll I feel see. like I'm watching season one, but not because <laughs> I don't know what I know what's happening. And I'm watching everything take place, but it's it's so hard to like predict where the show is going. Also, when are we going to have Adrian as a scent monster? <laughs> oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> We're missing that in our lives. Yeah, it could be it could be soon because that would affect you know everything with the love square. Yeah, um, like and Felix has got to show up again sometime. Right, no yeah. Felix in these episodes. So yeah, I think they're. That could and, be soon. and Luca knows their identities. Yeah, when, will they, when will they do that? But yeah, I think we cover it. I think good episodes, a lot of fun stuff. Um, yeah, let's keep having fun. Yeah, so the, now the main <laughs> event of the podcast, even though we didn't mention it, uh, we will oh, be yeah. briefly reviewing the Miraculous Rise of the Sphinx <laughs> video game. <sighs> we were sent review copies by some... So I don't even know who sent them us, but some. The, Thank you, friend. <laughs> okay. Connected to Zagger, the video game. Delaney, uh, I think you've played the most of this game. Yes. Are you ready to tell us your thoughts on it? Yes. So I actually I purchased this game and um, I did not receive one of the review copies. Uh, yeah, the, po- uh, the podcast paid you back. Bro. That's oh, it's all good. I'm not like. Um. Which I'm a little upset I bought it, though, because if I had waited until it, like, came out because I pre-ordered it, I could have gotten extra outfits. Anyway, I'm mad. It's fine. Um, where, the the, where are the outfits? I don't notice them. I don't know. So, but yeah, you could have gotten a uh, cat bonk and then, um... What? Like, a different ladybug outfit. Yeah, I was I was a little mad. It's fine. It's like I a didn't... deluxe version. Uh, so I didn't I, know uh, those outfits. <laughs> So I don't know if there are outfits other than those. But so I'm uh I just beat the third boss. Third boss. Is it and, the uh, where, where Dad the third one? Yes, where dad. Okay. okay. You're not that much farther than me. Yeah, so I beat Where Dad. Oh, you're much farther than me. <laughs> and uh the thing with this so the thing with like games like this is like there's like okay, so like as a ladybug fan and then also like I, the game as a video game. So as a Ladybug fan, this is about what I expected. Um, you get to be Ladybug, you get to be Marinette, you get to be Adrian, you can switch between them at will. You get to talk to all your friends. Um, I'm not sure when this is set. It seems to be like maybe season two, season three-ish. Uh, Master Foo's yeah. there. Yeah. Um, there's like... There's some, like, interesting plot things happening. We'll see how they play out. Um, So, like, as a Ladybug fan, I'm enjoying it. It's about what I expected. The only other, like, Ladybug game is, like, a... It's a mobile game, and it's an endless runner. So it's nice to have, like, an actual video game. Uh, As a video game... um, So the level, like, at first the game seems, like, fairly reasonable. But then, like... So there's, like, these... There's basically you just like you're it's ba- you just run through levels and like fight people, and then you fight you, then you fight the boss. You have to fight them as Ladybug, and then you have to fight them as Cat Noir. So in each level, there's like these orbs that you collect, and also uh, macarons. 
So in the first level, you have to collect, like, I don't know, like, 40 macarons. That seems reasonable. I missed a couple. I'll go back and get them. Every level after that, it's, like, 100 macarons, and you can't get them all in, in like, your first run. So you have to go back after you unlock abilities. So many. So, like, the game just seems it's very repetitive, which is fine. I will say, like, each villain has, like, their little gimmick that they do. I actually did have performance issues um, playing the game uh, at the third boss. Like, I'm playing on an Xbox Series X, which, hilariously enough, the game is optimized for. Which, it doesn't need to be, but... (laughs) Um, I, I, but on the third boss, I like my characters were crawling, so that wasn't fun. Hopefully, there won't be more of that. Yeah. And there is like so overall, like the game's fine. Like it's you know 3D. You run around. The camera's a little wonky. Um, my number one complaint with the game, though, is uh, these like scenes like where you're talking, like so like any dialogue. It's like they took like a screenshot of the game. And then cut out the characters, and they, like, paste them into these dialogue scenes. And it looks awful. I don't know why they did that. But basically, it's like it's like watching Ladybug episodes, and you just, like, run everywhere. Like, you just run and jump. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. This I wouldn't a... recommend spending yeah. hours on it. That was a positive take, I think. That was... It, it felt very positive. Like, I'm gonna keep it, playing it. You're gonna keep you're gonna keep playing it, okay? Yeah, and I do, and I I mean I want there. I think they should make more Ladybug games. I I'm a big fan of like adaptation games like this. I played the Avatar games, which a lot of people didn't like. I I enjoyed them. Um, I played one of the Korra games. I couldn't play the other Korra game because I didn't have um a 3ds. But like you know, I hope this you know will maybe get another Ladybug game. Yeah. April, how much have you played? What do you think? Um, okay, so let me preface this by saying I suck at video games. Like, like cozy games, I do amazing at sometimes. But, like, more action games, I'm, I'm not the best. And I'm very frustrated because I can't get past... Like, I got past, like, Mr. Pigeon, but I can't get past the next villain. Because... I am angry that your controls change whenever you're in, like, a boss battle. Oh, yeah. you have They have quick time events, which is, like, hilarious that they're, like, in this game. Right. They have, like, those. But I also, I'm getting really frustrated because, like, whenever you're, like, running around and collecting the orbs, like, so I play it on the Switch, and you press B to jump, right? But whenever you're in a fight, B no longer allows you to jump. It does something else, and <laughs> I'm so frustrated because I can't... If I could just jump in the middle of this boss battle, then this would go much better, but it does not. <laughs> so I keep dying. <laughs> it's fine, guys. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, I don't It's it's. I tried picking it up again today, but it's been a while since I first started it, and... Uh, so I, 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 the Where Dad level, I started playing it again, and it's just the same thing for half an hour. You're just doing the same thing over and over. It's the longest. Like you're it's literally so bad. running around for forever. Level two was like that too. I mean, okay, overall, it's like you start the game and it's like, okay, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, like you can be Marinette, you can be Ladybug, you can switch between Ladybug and Cat, you can unlock stuff. There's actually a plot. Though, like, there's a. Uh, it starts with uh, pigeon bots, which I think is pretty funny. Oh, like, there's yeah. actually there's like, like good stuff in here. It, they're like, oh my god, it's Mr. Pigeon sixty eight, which is like so funny. Yeah, like, and and it's like I like that the game wasn't set in season one. It's like season two or three, right? And mm-hmm. um, so like it, Lila's in it, annoyingly yeah, enough. Luke, Luke is there. Importantly, everyone's there. Um, yeah. But but once you start playing, it's like the graphics are really terrible, um, and then uh, the controls are also really terrible. I and, think the biggest thing for me is that i am not the intended audience of this game yeah i mean it's it's for like 10 year olds yeah so i guess it's fine for that it's like a flash game i don't know i don't know why it needs to be why they it's like a 50 dollars like big console release i will Um, say that is the thing that i'm most irritated about is that it it was a 40 dollar game like do not spend 40 dollars on it 
Just wait till Black Friday you know. sales. It's the the idea of everything going on though was uh good. It's just then I feel like they put it inside a like bad frame. Like uh like everything like controls. I, I was like trying to talk to Ollie at one point. I like needed to stand the exact right distance from her in order to it's yeah, like that type yeah. of vibe. It's it, yeah. So it's uh, they if they they could make this, but the graphics are good and the controls are good and they actually work on the level design. Um, it's like they got halfway. Like just make an online game or like actually go all out. But Zag is cheap, I guess, and this is what we get. A, le- a better Ladybug game would be really cool. Um, yeah, but- like like a true open world game would be awesome. And it it feels like it wants to be, but it's not. It's think- very much a like. Because you can kind of, like, wander around whenever Adrian or Marinette, but you yeah. can't, like, wander around. Yeah, it's very much like it's. it wants you to think it's an open world game, but it's not. Yeah. And then I just don't think the move is to make your levels really long for no reason. Like, Yeah. That's going to prevent me from continuing. I'm going to try my I mean, <laughs> I'm. I'm going to. I'll get past that. I believe in you. you. I don't even remember her name, but you can beat her. You, you got Thank this. you. I'm I will gonna say do it. Funny, like that, you have to like beat the boss is like Ladybug, and then also Captain Noir. Like that doesn't make a lot of sense, but sure, whatever. Yeah, and if you're not the right person for like the cutscene, it automatically switches it. And it's really disorienting Good stuff. Yeah, it does okay. have co-op. Granted, it's not online co-op. It's just like co-op. yeah, I got really hype, and then when I learned it wasn't online, I got really upset. <laughs> Because so. I was like, we can play together. No, we can't. Yeah, we cannot. So, yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts? I'm going to try to continue playing. <laughs> I tried. It suck less. I believe game. in you. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. I think I might be done, but <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> I first says I want to unlock everything, you know, because there's like actually stuff to unlock, but I didn't know it would require such. Repetitive. Levels. I don't enjoy like going back through levels, so I'm not excited to do that. I like unlock my first ability, hoping I'll unlock uh, Cat's ability next. Okay, we'll see if we can check in again. See if who has continued. The yeah, let's next let's time. check in again. Yeah. Okay. So other than that, that'll be it for this podcast. Let us know you thought about everything uh, about these episodes about the Ladybug video game, etc. And uh, what are we what are we calling it? The podcast. Any. Do we like any of these options? I think the first option is the best option. For me. Okay, well, that was <laughs> from before the podcast. I'm uh, upset about please call me daddy. <laughs> something with dad in it. Um, nice dad. He's all of our new dads. It's not hollow dad. It's nice dad. <laughs> nice dad. <laughs> nice dad and hollow mom. We could just keep that going. With the, yes. That was the ideal was parents. Called. Nice yeah. dad and hollow mom. Okay, we'll see. But, uh, yep, uh, can uh, let us know your thought, but without spoilers again, please. And please. Uh, consider supporting us via Patreon, patreon.com slash overly animated. Thanks to our current patrons, special our patron podcast, Steve. And thanks as well to our patron executive producer, Steve Michael and Phonician. Uh, so we'll be back at some point. There are three more Ladybug episodes airing in 2022, up until the first week of December. So that's what we have coming up. Probably cover them at once, but we'll see. Whatever we want to do. Are we getting some like next year immediately or are we gonna have to wait? TBD. I I assume so, but we'll see. I mean, I guess it's just a matter of them like translating them. Well, most importantly, like them finishing them with the animation. That seems to be the holdup. How many episodes are out? Uh, there's three more out. So the three that are oh, okay. We don't we don't don't know know any that are done past that. Yeah. I was gonna say I didn't know if like after the three we would be caught up or not. Yeah, we're not that we're not that far behind now. Okay. That okay. That feels better. (laughs) Okay. So we're excited to see what's coming next. Uh. But, uh, yep, and that's it. Thanks, guys, for listening. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.